I'm Mario Scordato with The Chopping Block. Uh, today I'm going to do a really nice little summer uh, soup. I've got some asparagus. We're going to do a little potato and bacon garnish with this. Uh, I've got some garlic. I'm just going to remove the peel. And I'm just going to slice these up. Okay, I also have a, just a nice kind of sweet yellow onion. I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to peel it. And I'm going to do a real quick dice on this as well. Here we're going to add just a little bit of grapeseed oil to this. Okay, that's going to handle a little bit of the heat there. And I'm going to add my garlic and my onion. I've now got some asparagus. I'm just going to grab the bottoms and just kind of break these where they break. And I'm also just going to kind of roughly chop these up. I'm going to add them to my pan. Now, as our garnish for this, I've got some Yukon Gold potatoes uh, that I just made a nice small dice on. Um, I've also got some bacon here. And all I'm going to do is just kind of cut this into some nice thin strips. So I'm going to add a little vegetable stock to the blender. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my asparagus and onion and garlic. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and blend this up now. The next thing I'm going to add, I have just a little bit of sour cream here. Um, you could just use heavy cream, but the sour cream's got that really nice little kind of sharpness to it that's going to add a little brightness. Um, instead of putting some acid in here, like some lemon juice or something like that. I'm going to add that back to the bit of vegetable stock that I have in there. And we're just going to let that simmer for a minute or two. Some salt and a bit of pepper as well. We've got a little bit of that onion and garlic left in there from our, uh, our kind of sweating our vegetables, and that's just fine. We're going to add our bacon. All right, so now that we've got our bacon uh, just about crisped up, we're going to go ahead and add those Yukon Gold potatoes. Okay, I'm going to finish with just a touch of olive oil. We're going to add just a nice little bit of that right. in the center of our soup there. You can get this recipe and others at mydiginchicago.com.